Everyone, or after, still afternoon, I guess. Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazpiecehobbyland.com with our uh, last four boxes of 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer Random Country Break number 12 from jazpiecehobbyland.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting to the action. There's all your countries right here, including the combos. We'll pop them in here after we randomize it. Nine times. Six and a three. Nine times for each list. One. Names first. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got Jason down to Jason. And there's nine times again for the countries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got Uruguay down to Portugal. All right, good luck, everyone. Here's what we got. All right, Jason, you have Uruguay. Darji, Netherlands, Morocco. Jason with Nigeria, Panama. Darji with Serbia, Senegal, Russia. Daniel Patera, Sweden. Eric Jennings, you got Austria, Chile. Carlos with the United States. Daniel Patera. Italy, Iran. España, Costa Rica. And then the Wales, Switzerland, Tunisia combo. TJ with L3. Mexico, Senyin with Germany. Michael Gallucci with Colombia. John Okra, you got Japan, Korea. Darji with Norway, Saudi Arabia. Croatia and England. Josh Bruce. Denmark, Egypt combo. Fill it with Brazil. Trevor with Last Bot Mojo. Poland, E. Peru. Daniel with Argentina. Darge with Australia, Belgium. Lee with France. John Okre with Iceland. And Portugal for Jason Lahner. There you go. Feel free to trade if you'd like. Let me sort by country. I'll give it a few moments for some trades. Arthur Peru will buy Peru off of Trevor Thomas. If you're interested. And I had uh, I had just texted Nick just before we started this video. That's all I was doing. Um, and he said we are going to try to get some more of this Prism World Cup. I'm sure the availability and the pricing is going to be a little tough, especially with the World Cup coming around. But we do have NT Soccer on its way. Not this Friday, but next Friday. So right smack in the middle of some of the group matches, we'll get NT Soccer. And I think that'll be a perfect perfect timing for that. So that should be a lot of fun. So keep an eye out on jazbeeshobbyland.com for that one. All right, TWC trade window closed. Oh, Arthur saying, so Ar Ar Arthur enjoys a little, uh, a little sports wager here and there. Not too much, folks. It's for entertainment. Put some pennies on um, Peru. Peru to what? To, to win the whole thing, Arthur? I did. I put some pennies on Peru to advance from their group. That's some good value at plus 145. All right. There's break 12, our last break of Prism World Cup for the time being. Thanks, everybody. Good luck. Nice. Arthur said, Arthur said that and to win and make it to the next round. There you go. I feel like Peru got... Oh, you got plus 165? That's, that's even better. I would have loved it at plus 165. I should have gotten I think it was at plus 180 at one point. I should have gotten it then. Um, Arthur, isn't there like some guy that was suspended for like PEDs that's now reinstated? I think that's supposed to be the big difference for Peru. I'm pretty sure it was the Peruvians. It was some South American team. It wasn't Colombia. It's got it wasn't Argentina. It's got to be Peru. Oh, yes, Arthur saying yes. Okay. I think that guy is is like the guy, you know, at least on the Peruvian national team. So I think that's supposed to be a big boost for the Peruvians. And it's kind of an interesting group, too, because basically 
Uh, Peru is in Group C, ladies and gentlemen. France, Australia, Peru, Denmark. Now, the Australians are not, not very strong this year. Um, but really, it, France is probably going to win that group, so there's not a lot of value in putting pennies on France. I mean, you're not gonna, you can get like a 10% a penny, like a quarter of a penny back. But pennies on Peru or Denmark would be interesting, at least to advance, because it's going to be one of those two countries. I took a slightly longer shot with Denmark to win the group at plus 475. So that's, that's quite a long shot. So obviously odds of that happening well, are plus 475. But it's going to be a little more difficult. But there's a little value in that. They could surprise. Really, the first group match, ladies and gentlemen, are the most important. Because that sets, because you only play three matches. Right, one against each team in the group, four, four team group, four country group. So the match match one, for those of you who are not too familiar with this, I mean, for those of you who are, you know, I'm stating the obvious, but match one always always the most important. If you can win that, that sets you in a pretty good position to to win the group usually. Or if you upset a team, you know that puts you in great position to uh, to advance from the group. All right, we've got some gold here. Nice fundamentals. Fernando Musaleta for Uruguay. Musaleta for Jason Lahner. That should be out of ten, Jason. Two out of ten. Nice. There you go, Uruguay in the group with Russia, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt. They should advance. There's Carlos uh, Vela for Mexico. That goes to TJ with L3. 12 out of 199. You can, you can feel the buzz around here in Los Angeles for the Mexican national team. It's in the air, ladies and gentlemen. And, oh, these are great. 15 out of 25. Wow. Mojo, Moscow host city. So that goes to Russia. That'll be, who has the Russians in this? That goes to Darji with the Serbia, Senegal, and Russia combo. These city cards are fantastic. I think uh, someone else got a city card. I think it was like a, a Polish city or something like that. Or no, maybe it was another Russian city. But they said that these these are really short printed. They, they could go for a lot on a secondary market. It's a good hit. I think, some, I think Rex got one. Or maybe it was a player, something in Germany or something like that. He said, and it was uh, it was not it was not a parallel. He said it sold for like 50, 60, 70 bucks. Some of them could sell for 100 bucks. I don't know what an out of 25 could go for. For a host country city? Someone look that up. Now I'm curious. Someone has a second. There, Subasic for Croatia. I think Croatia could surprise in their group. They're in the Argentina. Iceland, Croatia, Nigeria group. Argentina should win that group, but then take your pick, 10 out of 65, take your pick from Iceland, Croatia, and Nigeria. I'm actually going to save this for for a picture later. You're welcome, Darji. So I think those low number of parallels take the place of the autograph. Sometimes those parallels can uh, can sell for more than autographs, which is kind of crazy. Um, oh, okay, so Darji's saying he just checked, and it's ranging from 100 to 200 bucks. Not bad.
All right, next box. I'll bet. I mean, if you're intending to sell it, Darji, I I think um, because I'm sure people are making sets of those city inserts and stuff too. Um, I mean, by the time you get it in the mail from us, and by the time you post it and it sells, I mean, we're, you're right smack in the middle of the World Cup, and that could be like the prime time for you to move that card for even greater value. That's why I'm actually kind of glad that Panini moved NT Soccer because NT Soccer was supposed to come out tomorrow. But I'm kind of glad that they pushed it to not this Friday, but the next Friday, the 22nd. And hopefully they don't move it again. But I think that's, that's perfect because we're right smack in the middle of the World Cup. And I think maybe probably starting a lot of the match of the second match of the group two of three and so by the time we break a lot of that by the time you get all that stuff in the mail from nt soccer we should be right in the knockout stages around there that'd be a perfect time to start moving some of the cards especially if you get someone that i mean this happens every world cup folks and I say this a lot in every soccer break, but but it's I gotta it's worth repeating over and over again. There's always someone random that you wouldn't even think you you'll get a random player right here of some insert, some out of ninety nine or whatever. Hold on to it because you never know. Because a player can come out of nowhere for some country and do something magical. And then all of a sudden, boom! That out of ninety nine card that may have been only ten bucks could could triple in price or something like that. So it's worth ho holding on to. All right, next box. Anton Griezmann should be a big part of the World Cup campaign for Le Bleu. For Saudi Arabia, Nawaf Alabed. Got some camo there for Darji. I don't think the Saudi Arabians have a chance. 10 out of 20, nice low number though. But like, listen, this guy, Alabed, right? If he scores like an 89th minute winner for Saudi Arabia to beat Russia night one on the first night of the World Cup on Thursday, you never know. Morishige, Masato Morishige for Japan, 85 out of 149. That goes to John Okre and the Japan-Korea combo. Sigurdsson for Iceland. They were the magical team in the Euros a couple years ago, a couple summers ago which is basically a World Cup for all the European teams. Alexander Lacazette. See, France has got a lot of great players right here. They could, they could do it if they, if they get their act together. They've got a pretty complete team. There's Edison Cavani for Uruguay. That goes to Jason Lawner. I think for Uruguay, Uruguay, what group are they in? Oh, yeah, they're in the first group, Group A. I think the issue for them is that they've got a good defense. They've got a good attack, but they don't have a midfield. It's kind of the, it's kind of their issue. So... So they're always kind of attacking a lot, actually. They should be pretty exciting to watch some of their matches. It's a nice parallel right there for Timo Werner, Germany. I don't think I see these very often, so let me sleeve this one up. Or at least a refractor version sent in with Germany.
There's Hector Herrera. I'll save one of those for you, TJ. Is this another dual autograph? No, but it looks like it's a special. It's flipped around. I don't think we see a lot of these team cards either. The old 1954 World Cup champions. Everyone remembers this one, right? I remember this one. This goes to Sen Yin in Germany. All right. Two more boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. And like I said, we don't have any more at the moment, but we will try to get more in the store in the next week or so. So keep an eye out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Um, oh, nice. Darge is saying that that Germany card goes for about 40, 50 bucks. Yeah, that'll cover the spot, Senyin. <laughs> Joe P saying that this new microphone that I have here looks like I have a baseball in front of my face. Tis the season. Or maybe a soccer ball, Joe P. The, the, the microphone is called a snowball. Snowball mic. I should paint it like BB-8. Uh, no, I don't think I... Yeah, no auto in that either. But a couple nice inserts. Oh man, Joe Joe P not a fan of the soccer. We we won't be seeing much of Joe P for the next month. <laughs> a lot of people getting into the soccer, Joe P. You you got to you got to get you got to get with the program. There's nothing <laughs> there's nothing else to watch. The NBA Finals are over. Stanley Cup Finals are over. You can watch, watch your Diamondbacks. They're playing well. NBA Draft, I guess, is coming up. Uh, mini camps, I guess. I'm actually, I'm actually glad. I'm actually glad that uh, that the World Cup is here in the middle of June. Sort of a quieter sports period. There's Allison for Brazil. Sorry, Joe P. We're going to break so much soccer. I'm going to break as much as possible, whether you're here or not, my friend. 007 out of 199. Oh, there's a refractor of Mohamed Salah. I'll save one of these for Egypt. That goes to Josh Pruce. Oh, yeah, we got U.S. Open of Golf later this week. This weekend. I guess it starts on Thursday. Upper Deck needs to make more golf products. Come on, Upper Deck. Let's see some more golf. There's Cristiano Ronaldo. Joe Cavanaugh is saying, I had, I had to disappoint a British lady at work when I had to explain why she couldn't run a World Cup gambling pool in, place of, in a place of business. There's Gilfi Sigurdsson for Iceland. John Ogray with Iceland. They had a they had a nice run two years ago in the Euros. There's Liverpool Sadio Mane for Senegal. There's Lionel Messi. We'll set that insert aside. Save one of those. Can't yeah. You can't run a gambling. <laughs> Well, they're so used to it over there, Joe Cavanaugh. The sports gambling has been around for for ages. You can go to like a little, a, 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 what, what amounts to be like a, the size of like maybe a local deli, I think. You just walk right in there to little bookies and then just be like, yeah, two pounds on, two pounds on England.
There's Hector Herrera. You got a nice Mojo Refractor coming at you too, TJ. Edison Cavani. Am I going to the Long Beach Expo? Joe Cavanaugh. What's at the, what's happening at the Long Beach Expo? 45 out of 65. For Uruguay, that's for Jason Lawner. And the last bit here. Farfan at the end. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen, and then the promo. I gotta not forget the last entrant into our World Cup promo. It's a card show. That sounds actually kind of, kind of would go. To, when is it? I'll I'll look it up after the break. Huh? I haven't been to Long Beach in ages. I've always wanted to go to the there's a there, there's a Long Beach Grand Prix there that they do every year. I always I always mean to go and then I always like forget when it is and every time I think about it then it's like it's already over. I always just wanted to try to carve out some time for that. They close down the streets of Long Beach and they just have I think it's 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 open wheel. Indie cars basically are just running racing around maybe they have other cars too they might race like Porsches there Porsches Porsches or Porsches all right last little stack right here good luck everybody Make sure you take a look at our break menu, which I'll drop into the chat in a little bit to see all of our picks and whatnot. <laughs> when Joe, Joe P says when he visits. Joe P, when are you visiting? I think next week. When Joe P visits, he says he's, he's going to be picketing with signs. No more football, he's going to say. I apologize, Joe P. I think you might be the only person that's that vehemently opposed to it. Now, some people might not be like, they might not care about it, but you're actively opposed to it. I mean, it's just, that's just the way it's going to be. It's only once every four years, Joe P. Relax. It'll be fine. You'll get through it. Wait till your coworkers start getting interested in it. Everyone's talking about it. There's Cristiano Ronaldo, Silver, or Prism, or whatever they call it in this set, Refractor. Annabelle Godoy for Panama. So the Panamanian goes to... Who's got Panama? Nigeria-Panama combo for Jason Lawner, 31 out of 99. There's Cristiano Ronaldo for Portugal. That might This might get your spot money back, Portugal. It'll be Jason Lawner. Won't be surprised if that goes for like 20 bucks. 20 American dollars. We've got Mehdi Banatia for Morocco. Morocco, ladies and gentlemen, I actually have to advance at a slight underdog at plus 325. They're in the group with Portugal, Spain, Morocco, and Iran. Now, I'm not too high on Portugal advancing. I actually have them to not advance at plus 300. There's a little value there. But Morocco might surprise folks. I think of all the of all the teams on the African continent, they may be the best ranked team. Some may have to double check that, but I think they may be the best ranked team of all the African teams that are in the World Cup this year. So they might have a chance. They could surprise. in my opinion, for entertainment purposes only. Let's see if there's an auto in this one or a low numbered parallel.
And there is an autograph. It's 8 out of 25 for Senegal. Kaita Balde Diao. I wonder if this is the same Kaita that's supposed to go to Liverpool, I think. I think he is. 8 out of 25 for Senegal with the final autograph. Darji with the Serbia, Senegal, and Russia combo. Who says the combo spots don't hit? All right, and there's Casper Schmeichel for Denmark. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We will see you. In oh, no, we got to do a promo. I almost forgot. I was so excited about the autograph. Someone on this list is about to do my outro, blah, 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 and all that. It's a live show, folks. Live to tape, as we call it, the industry. All right, Daniel down to Daniel. All right, we'll roll the dice. We'll randomize that list. Four and a four, eight times for the last name in the promo, the final name. Four and a four, eight the hard way. One, two, three, and four. And four more times. One, two, three, and four, which makes eight. Name on top after eight times is Sen Yin. Congrats, Sen Yin, in the promo. Our final one in a separate video will be the randomizer for the promo. Stick around for that. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.